They're calling it Titanic 2. Only this time, they say she will make it all the way from Southampton to New York. But just in case, they are taking extra lifeboats. Because the critical thing about Titanic 2 is it's about today, not yesterday. If you don't like it, don't come. Clive Palmer is the big bucks Australian mining tycoon behind the venture. Originally, we thought it was a good idea and uh, we thought it would have a lot of appeal. We didn't know how much appeal. But certainly from, you know, which we launched the project and uh, we found it's had enormous appeal and it's financially very, very strong as well. So it's going to be a, a blockbuster. With 40,000 would-be passengers already signed up, those behind the replica liner say it's proof people will want to holiday on their ship. And while there will be those who say all this is in bad taste, there's support from some of the Titanic families. My hope is that this will just be something that will honour them and will take the voyage across the Atlantic so it can come to its final destination. More than 100 years on from the sinking of the Titanic, her replica is expected to set sail for the first time in 2016. So far, no word on how much all this will cost. And there's one other thing they're reluctant to mention. Anything will sink if you can make up, put a hole in it, you know? This time, no one's using the word unsinkable. Claire Fallon, Sky News.